Oh hi, I'm Jen and welcome to Tasty Memories. It is a beautiful spring day and I thought I should try something new for dinner. Maybe some wild greens, but I'm not going to get them from any grocery store or farmer's market. I'm actually going to forage them for myself in Central Park. Hey, hey, hey! Tasty Memories! Yeah. This is Wild Man Steve Brill and in 1986, he was arrested in Central Park for eating a dandelion. You see, Steve is an expert foraging guide, and while giving his wild edible tour, two members happened to be undercover New York City Park Rangers. This arrest caused such a stir in the media, he was even featured on David Letterman. But the charges were dropped, and the commissioner decided to hire Steve to give the same tours for the next four years. When the commissioner and I, Henry Stern, shook hands, um, first it was, you can't go eating dandelions in Central Park. It's like going into the Central Park Zoo and eating a bear cup. And then when we shook hands, <laughs> we like Wild Man Steve Brill. Since then, he has successfully continued freelancing and not only provides tours to the general public, but to school groups, museums, garden clubs, nature programs, and even children's birthday parties. So to celebrate Earth Day, I decided to learn from Wild Man in hopes that I might too become a wild woman. And so we learned how to identify what most people would call annoying weeds. But who would have known these weeds would taste so flavorful? Lemony, you guys. Wow. Yeah. And we also use his Wild Edibles app, which is jam-packed with information to safely identify weeds like poor man's pepper, field garlic, and yellow wood sorrel. All which inspired my taste buds to make a super fresh dinner, Wild Greens Pesto. Instead of the usual basil pesto, I use garlic mustard, cormans pepper, and yellow wood sorrel. You also need pasta. You can use any kind, but I use linguine, garlic, pine nuts, pecorino, and olive oil. First, make sure you wash and trim your greens well to get rid of all the dirt. Then in boiling salted water, cook your pasta until al dente. And meanwhile, make your pesto. So in a processor, add your garlic, pine nuts, greens, and pecorino. Then drizzle in the olive oil while blending. You could blend it until coarse or creamy like mine, it's up to you. And taste it along the way. If you need to add more ingredients, like I'm adding cheese, maybe some more nuts or olive oil or even more greens, it's all up to you. And when your pasta is done, just toss in your sauce and mix well. And it's ready to serve on a plate. You can even add some extra cheese right on top. All right, I'm gonna try this awesome looking pesto. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That is seriously fresh tasting. That uh, poor man's pepper, it's almost like arugula. It's really interesting. I really hope you guys will try foraging in your local area. All you really need is an open mind and an adventurous appetite. And you'll become that much more earth friendly. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I'd really love to know how you guys are going to celebrate Earth Day or how you stay earth friendly throughout the rest of the year. Leave something in the comments or post to our Facebook page or send us a tweet. We'll even post them to our blog, JustEatLife.com, where you can check out extra footage of our tour and a little interview with Wild Man Steve Brill. And if you're going to be in the New York area, sign up for a tour. Visit wildmanstevebrill.com where you can also purchase his cookbooks and foraging guides. Don't forget to check out his app, Wild Edibles.